What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to My Hero Academia Season 6, this time with episode 18. Uh, really excited to see today's episode. We ended off, um, well last episode we covered Endeavor's, uh, a little bit more of Endeavor's backstory, uh, mostly Dabby's backstory. Um, so he had had that kind of fire got ignited within him from Endeavor and um, kind of selfishly got put out by Endeavor as well. Uh, well, it never really got put out, that that is the issue, but um, yeah, Endeavor of course seeing more of his uh, brutality. Um, I still like Endeavor, I, I like his kind of... Um, I mean, not saying he was a nice guy. <laughs> he was an absolutely horrible man. But I uh, really like his kind of arc uh, beforehand, um, a couple seasons ago, of him kind of uh, coming around and actually kind of realizing his mistakes and trying to make up for it. Um, just trying his best, like the whole family is now. Um, everyone's uh, everyone's now trying, but of course, Dabby's never going to let go of this. Um, it was just a kind of real eye opener to see just how Dabby got his uh, his kind of scars and um, got so uh, kind of messed up, but. It's absolutely brilliant. We ended off with, uh, I think, Deku. He's going to be um, me meeting the vestiges again. Uh, one of which we did see All Might kind of um, appearing within Deku. Whether that means he's kind of um, fading out of real life, whether he's not going to be around in the real world anymore. I'm not 100% sure. That is uh, kind of scary if that is the case that um, he won't be around. But he'll always be inside Deku, which is uh, quite cheesy. But um, yeah, he was kind of appearing there in this kind of gold. Um, I'm not really sure what to call it. Uh, gas <laughs> uh, smoke um, but he'll be kind of fully in there at some point soon I do imagine uh, we did actually get a new trailer drop as well uh, which I'll be reacting to probably after the episode if I do remember I, you know guys know I'm pretty forgetful so hopefully I will remember to watch that at the end um, hopefully it's just included at the end of the episode but um, I will go on YouTube and watch it if not uh, do let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys like this one and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with this uh, with my weekly reactions and let's get right into it, guys. Yeah, I think this full episode is pretty much just going to be a um, a meeting within Deku. Because, as I mentioned, the new trailer covers a new arc that's going to be starting next week. <clears throat> and probably going to be continuing throughout the rest of this uh, season. The season's gone by very quickly, hasn't it? I think it's just got, you've got so much action. <laughs> From episode to episode. <laughs> Who's that guy? Well, there's a couple of them just facing walls. Didn't even notice them. A lot of familiar faces here. A lot of new faces as well. Again, I didn't, I didn't even notice those two people fucking just facing the wall. <laughs> Who are they? They haven't even got chairs. And there's an empty chair on the right there as well, which is quite interesting. That like Deku's chair. Quite a few questions. But yeah, who the hell? Who the hell are the motherfuckers facing the wall? I do just want to go back and look. I wasn't going to do it, but yeah, it's in. Oh, there's two. There's two empty seats. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Maybe one of them isn't Deku's. Maybe they're these guys' seats. But why are they? They just not want to show themselves. They have got nothing to say right now. Seems a bit strange, doesn't it? That they're just in in this inner world of Deku's and and in a world for all one for all users. Yeah, they can't even, can't even look at him. Maybe they're ashamed. <laughs> Maybe they're ashamed of him, as, as bad as that sounds. Maybe they don't think he's worthy or something. We know a few people that thought they were worthy and probably didn't think Deku were worthy early on in the series, so who knows. They're wearing the same outfits as well, though, which is quite strange. But yeah, obviously, including them, there's a few new uh, faces there, isn't there? wonder what kind of quirks we'll kind of gain i think the more as as the series goes on we're going to be getting more and more quirks aren't we i think we've already had the whip which is quite obvious i think that's like the first one we got and then this kind of danger sense i can't remember who's the danger sense was i think that was um all for one's brothers wasn't it actually
Yeah, I do imagine this next uh, this next arc that we're going to be going into start next week, we'll be seeing this darker version of Deku. It's almost villainous looking uh, Deku. Maybe it's a bit like Batman. Maybe he's um, maybe he's just done working with others. So I say that as the Justice League, for example, but. Um, Maybe he just wants everything in his own hands. Becomes a kind of anti hero. Although I wouldn't say Batman's an anti hero. I don't know. I guess from a perspective he kind of is, but not really. Oh, that's cool. So he actually kind of helped us a little bit. <laughs> he did kind of well. I wouldn't. I wouldn't exactly call that speaking. And more like a, a crazed dog. <laughs> but he did kind of speak. Who is this, by the way? Oh, interesting. Izuki Midoriya and Tomura Shimaraki. Igaraki. Oh, is he the danger sense? Oh, I thought that was... um. <laughs> interesting um but yeah I, I i thought that was all for one's brother's quirk it's not Ah. Is there something about the quirk that accelerates your aging or something? I mean, look at the state of all my to be fair. That's quite scary. Yeah, very accelerated aging. Interesting that it shows those two people facing the wall there. Maybe they just can't stomach that this young boy's now got to deal with that as well. Everyone here does look very young, don't they? Do they all look like how they... So they all look like how they died just before they died or in their prime, do you reckon?
Okay. Okay, so we've still got a bit of hope for Deku. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit of good news, I guess. That is pretty cool, that is, isn't it? Lucky they didn't give it to Miria. <laughs> Sounds like Deku's just had a uh, a dental operation. Can't speak properly. Yeah, true. Again, I was just talking about Mirio. Bug in my room. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Get out of there. Sure, what it is. Apologies about that, guys. Um, yeah, quite a lot to take in right now. <laughs> quite a lot to take in right now. There's a lot of big words, um, a lot of explaining. From essence, I'm understanding that again, just put it very simply because I again I didn't really fully understand all of that. Um, seems like if you had a quirk and you got one for all, you your kind of you kind of overflowed your quirk was already kind of pretty much full glass, and then adding one for all um, on top of that kind of overflowed the glass and kind of overspilled it. it was a bit too much to handle, um, so you, you end up having kind of accelerated. Um, aging and uh, as a kind of payoff for having more quirks, I guess. Um, so uh, it's kind of, again very lucky that Deku and All Might. Uh, I didn't even know that was his original. I, I, I forget what they called him, but I didn't even know what his uh, what his first name was, which is quite the uh, quite the shame after watching six seasons, isn't it? Uh, apologies about that, but um, yeah, it seems like uh, if you had a quirk already, it kind of overspilled. And you started dying at an early age, but if you didn't have one, you actually uh, actually a much better fit for someone. I guess if he isn't the last person to ever use one for all, he now knows to pass on to someone without a quirk. I'm not sure we are, to be honest with you. Personally, I don't. I don't think I'm really on their side of things. I'm think. I don't. I'm not sure he can be saved, but I think there might be a chance. You know. Yeah, stuff like that makes me think there might be a chance. Of course, she knows how he feels. Still gonna cut to these guys. And what are they doing back there?
Yagi. Yeah, I never even knew that was his name. Just called him All Might. Is it? I feel like I can empathize with him a little bit. I can understand that point though. He has got to die. Maybe this is why Deku enters this dark phase. Maybe he goes against all these guys. I feel like there might be a chance as well. Seeing stuff from Deku's perspective. Obviously these guys have seen it all from Deku's perspective but don't feel that way which is interesting. Oh, his mouth's actually becoming clearer. Ooh. Hey, he's talking normally. But I agree very much with that. That's a proud mentor right there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but I think he... Uh... Very much sees a little bit of himself in that boy, doesn't he? Helpless little boy. And it's back. Strange. That was a test. Well, I guess there was a bit of a silver lining for her, wasn't there? Uh, with little Deku here. The emotions of the situation. Damn. Quite the meaning that was, wasn't it? And yeah, we've got to deal with this now, haven't we? A few people kind of suspecting. Yeah, about uh about this. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? This was a massive point of that battle. The biggest point of the battle. Well, actually the biggest point is all the people dying, getting injured, but the main point on the villain side of things.
but certainly fucking seemed that way. Hey, let's go. Endeavour's back. At a press conference. That's genius, really does have a long ass neck, doesn't he? Look at his fucking suit. <laughs> I'm guessing that's him next to him because the collars. Yeah, look at it. Bloody hell. Oh, horrible scar there for Hawks. I guess he, I guess he looks a little bit like Dabby now with a scar like that. Uh, Dabby, um, Endeavor, should I say? Yeah, look at his fucking suit. <laughs> I can't go for that. But yeah, I do feel like that is quite fitting that. Ah, you really feel like you're one of the only people that had someone hurt during this. But yeah, I feel like it's quite fitting that Hawk's got a. Got a scar like that to kind of symbolize his uh, scar that's left by twice. This woman really doesn't understand very much, does she? <laughs> the tie as well. The tie must be extra long also. Bloody hell. Oh, so looks worried. Baku's mum. That Bakugo's mum she was with as well. <laughs> oh damn, that lady. So like Mirko's ready to go. Good to see. The washing machine guy tearing up at that. <laughs> well done, Endeavor, taking everyone's uh, sins in your hands, eh? He will take the brunt of this, it seems. Got an absolute grilling, as is usually the case with these uh, Japanese press conferences, to be honest, from what I've seen in anime. From Gintama, <laughs> they all seem pretty ruthless. Oh shit! Now all these guys know. Wow. Wow. We got to this point. I mean, a few of these guys probably won't be that surprised. Wow. It's quitting? Well, I guess it's not exactly quitting, but... Nah, that's a shame. Good point there. Who the hell do the heroes go to? <laughs> no one. 
Wow, so no more UA high for Deku. I doubt we'll be seeing too much of UA going forward as well then. It's interesting. Giant. The final chapter? The final chapter? Is is the is the manga not still ongoing? I'm not 100 percent sure. I feel like I feel like I would have heard if the manga was ending. <laughs> what was that about the final chapter? Surely not, right? Surely not. I guess it would be. I guess it would make sense considering he's now left school. Also, I do find it quite interesting he told um, everyone about him inheriting all for one as he leaves school. I guess it feels like he owed it to him, perhaps. But um, surely this isn't actually the final chapters. Like I said, I, I think I would have heard if the manga ended, or am I just being silly and it has ended? <laughs> I don't think it has. Yeah, great episode today. Great episode again. Not, not much action. There hasn't been much action in the last few weeks, but just in, in the topics it covers. It kind of looks on this ending shot here that he might even return to UA High School. I'm not counting that out, that's for sure. I'm not counting out a return. Oh, muscular. Is he the guy behind all that rubbish we just saw? Full power. Perhaps that just meant the final chapter of his UA career. Perhaps that's what that meant. Perhaps that just meant the, the final chapter of that part of the of that first volume, that first book, and now we're in another book where we uh, where we fully kind of embrace all this. The greatest tale of the becoming the greatest hero. Interesting. Interesting end to the episode right there. Um, again, I will just get this trailer up real quick. So yeah, we see Muscular. Uh, first time we see him since a few episodes ago when he got released. Looks like we're going to be taking him on. Uh, going to be taking on... Oh, that's uh, quite fitting. That's just popped up there. Um, yeah, quite fitting that we're... What was I about to say? I forgot. Um, no, I, was, I wasn't saying about anything being fitting. Um, quite interesting that we still saw Deku in the hospital just then. Um, and obviously today's episode, he was in no shape to fight. So is he going to be up and fighting next episode? Going to be okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the trailer for the upcoming arc starting next week. I should probably put some subs on. Uh, oh, there is no subs. That's, okay, I can try and understand it. I had All Might and Tamani meeting everyone, I think. Tr trying to save everyone, perhaps. As that new design, muscular. Oh, there's a couple of the people we saw facing the wall. Hmm, very old man voice there. Oh. Oh my god, there's a lot to take in here. <laughs> there's a lot to take in here, wow. Um. Let's go back a minute. <laughs> wow. I don't think we'll be getting this much info. Look at the, this mist. This purple mist is definitely something to do with that guy wearing the red coat. It's 
quirk, isn't it? That we're inherited. Yeah, there's the fate. Yeah, so he's got that purple mist around him right now. That guy. But yeah, here's here's the one of the guys, and here's the other one. He's got a massive scar on his face as well. Can't really gain too much from seeing their faces, but they've been shown. So maybe maybe we see them a little later on. Maybe they show themselves a little bit. They almost look a little bit disappointed, don't they? Maybe they're disappointed at themselves, or again, maybe they're disappointed at the the choice of Deku. Perhaps who knows. Looking forward to seeing Muscular again though. That was a really awesome fight in Season 3. I got my wish as well. Deku does see his mum. Love to see that. What is this then? What has she got there? Is that a gun? Oh my god. Yeah, she's got like... Who's that in the back? Yeah, she got like what is this as well? She got like a a quirk where she can manipulate her body into like mechanical weapons or something. That'd be pretty fucking awesome. Or like a super soldier of sorts. Got a couple of grenades. Oh, that's that's her elbow. That's why. That's all I can manage to understand from that. Little new key visual as well. With the uh with the users. Is this one here oh wait, no, that's just his hair. <laughs> I thought this this one on the far right was actually behind this one kind of hiding, but I guess not. Yeah, a lot a lot of information there from that uh, from that trailer. Um Luckily, I managed to actually remember um, remember to watch it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, very interesting episode today. Uh, going over um, a little bit more of the details with uh, One for All, um, try, uh, understanding it a little bit better, um, hearing some thoughts of, uh, of the users as well, which ended up just being a test in the end. Um, they just were just testing Deku um, to see if he's a nice person. <laughs> just to, well, I think it's to obviously see if he's... Uh, well capable and if he's still in the right kind of mindset um looks like again we're seeing the start to this new arc that's going to be happening next episode we're seeing the start to this kind of four processes that puts deku in this uh um in this kind of solo kind of hero mode it looks like uh going to be taken on muscular by himself which is going to be uh quite the feat um looking forward to seeing that fight as i did say in season three that was uh, obviously the kind of climax of the season but the animation during that fight was and the, and the voice acting during that fight as well was insane had a lot more people involved i uh, will say that so uh be interesting to see how deku, deku kind of stacks up against that uh, uh, looks like he gets to uh, apologies <laughs> looks like he gets to use a, a new um a new kind of quirk as well perhaps during that fight i do imagine it won't be obviously very potent at the start like we've seen with most of them they've been uh quite slow in uh kind of getting used to them and getting to understand them but um as we've known with the black whip uh for example even like half a second of using it can be very impactful so um yeah looking forward to seeing that fight uh, especially and um looking forward to seeing the uh the purple head woman as well she looks like she's got a really cool quirk as much as i have no idea what it is <laughs> it's something to do with uh weapons or something though and uh maybe a bit like yao yorozu in a way where she can kind of create weapons um instead of kind of uh, instead of putting the output that Yoyo Rozu does and, and kind of creating them and then kind of having them kind of be a material and, and out uh, maybe maybe it's a little bit easier for her because she just makes them part of her body instead um, again just uh, just taking a guess of this my first guess was that she was related to um, the guy who if you heard his voice you, you'd have to uh, you'd have to abide by what he says or if you answer his question I think it is actually I can't, I can't exactly remember what it is but um, I thought they were related and it doesn't doesn't look like the case they might still be um, they've both got purple hair is all I'm going off <laughs> that usually does mean quite a bit in anime though doesn't it uh, but yeah a lot, uh, a lot of interesting details in that trailer uh, we do see those two uh, people that were kind of hiding today's faces um, again no idea why they're hiding it. a lot of questions from today's episode but um, there's also a really good uh, just kind of solidifying more of the rules and such and uh what's gonna be happening going forward of course deku leaving ua high um and it saying that this is the final chapter again i'm not really sure about that um i will we'll just have a look up quickly because 
may, maybe the manga did end and I just didn't hear about it. But, um, My Hero Academia. Manga ongoing. It, it's, it's still ongoing, right? Yeah, so it is still ongoing for the minute. As we know, however, the manga's creator plans to end the story by the end of this year. Okay, so it's still ongoing, but... But it is going to be ending soon. So, again, I think I was kind of right in saying that this probably was the final chapter. Maybe this is like the middle book, for example. Like uh, season four, five, and six have been like the middle books. Uh, obviously, the first three being the first book. And then uh, the final chapter of this book leads us on to the final book, going to be uh, continuing uh, of next week's arc. And then obviously, future seasons and uh, going to be ending out the series, it looks like. So, um, yeah quite a bit of a revelation there to be honest with you um we're in the kind of end game of this series now it does it does fit very much kind of feel that way doesn't it however it does uh it does also feel very quick because um i feel like with the school stuff we haven't made a massive amount of progress uh since uh, season four but i think that's the way things are going wasn't it kind of integrating the kids into becoming actual heroes so i guess that was actually quite a bit of uh, progressing that way but yeah let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did like this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions um again a lot a lot covered today so um apologies for the video probably being a little bit longer than usual but hope you have a good rest of your day guys